Life is good, so why they hate me? They throw the cap, we graduated, yeah. I'm used to it, so you know I had to settle in. My future bright light, shining on my melanin. Yeah, gonna make a play, yeah. Just how you like it, uh. Here go with Tyson. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Miss National Mary here. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe before you leave. Happy Easter in advance. I hope that you all have an amazing weekend. In today's video, I'm doing something I haven't done in a long time, probably about five years, which is install a 360 lace unit. And this one is a crystal lace unit, so it's gonna look super natural. So if you're someone who likes to be able to put your lace wigs up in a ponytail or a bun or any of those versatile styles, this is the video for you. The wig that I'm gonna show you all today is about Genius Wigs. And they're well known for doing really great crystal lace units. I've tried quite a few of their crystal lace units in different lengths and textures, but they were all in the lace front construction and I loved all of them. This is my first time trying their 360 lace unit and I'm really excited to try it. This is in the kinky trait texture. Consistent with all of their units is their flawless pre-plugged hairline. Now, because this is a 360 lace unit, it is gonna be around the entire circumference of the unit and it looks so good. They did such a great job. Literally, if you install this unit correctly, it will look like it's growing out of your scalp. It just looks so natural. Now I'm gonna put it on the mannequin head to truly give you all a better visual of what it looks like if it were to be placed on your head, whether you're lighter skin, darker skin. I am gonna show you guys how to tint the lace so that it matches your skin tone perfectly. And as I stated earlier, 360 lace units offer a great deal of versatility. So you can part it down the middle, you can part it along the side, you can even put it up if you desire to. It really gives you a lot of different options for styling. This unit has about three to four inches of parting space. The knots have also been pre-bleached, so you don't have to worry about doing that at all. This is one of those no work needed units. Everything's pretty much been done for you. All that's left to do is really install the unit. Now, because I am darker skin, I will need to tint the lace. This lace is really high-end lace. It's durable. It's going to lay flat. It's actually going to melt really nicely into your skin. Now, right now I'm doing a 360 pan to show you all what the unit looks like when turned over because I am about to proceed to tint the lace. I like to do so by starting with my Sally Hansen Airbrush Leg Spray, and I like to use color Deep Glow. That matches my skin tone really well. And then I also follow it up with my Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. I like the pairing of the two of those together. I feel like it creates the perfect color match for my skin tone. As you all notice, I didn't just tint the lace in the front this time. I did it in the back as well. Be sure to do this, especially if you're planning to put the unit up. Now this time around, I didn't have as much transfer onto the hair from the lace tint. But if you do experience any transfer, be sure to use a makeup wipe in order to clean that off. So that's what I'm doing currently. And then I'm going to proceed to do my natural hair wig prep. This is what my hair looks like currently. Currently, I just had some leave out on the sides for a half up, half down hairstyle that I had been rocking, but I'm just going to pin that down along with the four braids that I have in the back. I just actually did four plaits. I'm just going to pin those down as flat as possible. For me, this is a really great alternative to doing cornrows. Cornrows will be highly recommended for a style like this. If you all have followed my channel for a while, you know I typically don't do cornrows because it's so much tension on my hair. It takes too much time and I just don't have time for it. <laughs> so this is what I opted for and I feel like it worked out perfectly. I am all about the mantra, work smarter, not harder. So along with not doing cornrows, I'm also not going to do the ball cap method. That would also be highly recommended for this particular install. But what I found with this type of lace is that I didn't actually need to do it. So this is a step that I feel like you can skip. I just put on my wig cap halfway my head and I just slicked down my edges, made sure that my baby hair was pulled back. That's what I'm going to do and then proceed to install the unit. So this is how I prep my hair this time. As you can see, I do have a low hairline. So I typically have challenges with installing any unit, but if you don't have a low hairline, this is gonna be such a phenomenal unit to install for you. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how I work around my low hairline, but I typically have challenges, just putting that out there. So trying the unit on, as you can see, the lace looks amazing against my skin tone. Tinting the lace was such a good idea, and a middle part looks great, but I decided to actually style the hair with the side part this time. I feel like I've been doing a middle part quite a bit. So we're gonna switch it up, do something a little different, and I am going to go ahead and cut the lace off in the back prior to installing because I do want to make sure that I have enough leverage in the front to be able to pull it forward when installing. I feel like it's restricting for me having the lace on because I do have a low hairline. It's a bit of a challenge. So I'm just going to cut the lace off in the back only at the present moment. And then I'm going to proceed to take out the combs that are on the inside of the unit because I also felt like those kept like poking into my head and I don't feel like they're necessary for this type of lace construction. So I'm just going to take those off using a razor. And I also did take off the elastic band that was attached. That's also not necessary. And then I'm 
going to proceed to install the unit. As you all can see, it already looks so natural. I love the way this lace looks against my skin tone. It's going to be undetectable once you actually install it. I did notice once I put it on my head that I got a little scissor happy on one of the sides, but it's okay. We'll fix it. So now it's time to install and I do like to do one side at a time. I did do it a little different than I typically do it, which kind of messed me up a bit. I usually start on the right side, but for some reason I started on the left. I'll never do that again. <laughs> and I will be using Got To Be Glue Gel in the yellow bottle. This is one of my staple adhesives for wig installs. Now I do feel like for this particular wig install, wig glue would be better but I don't like using wig glue. I feel like it's damaging to my hair. And I also like to use the Gatsby Glue Gel on my edges because I do have a low hairline. If I put the Gatsby Glue Gel in front of my hairline, it won't look as natural because it will require that I pull the unit too far forward. And I feel like that doesn't look as natural as I desire, but some people do it and it looks great on them, but I really don't enjoy that look on me. So I typically like to use the Gatsby Glue in the yellow bottle, but for this install, in order to ensure that your hair is laid down and it's secure and it's not going to move. I'd highly recommend wig glue over the gel just because you want to make sure that it doesn't slide at all in the front and especially in the back because that will not look cute. The Got To Be Glue gel will not actually stay in place. I'm just demonstrating the process to show you all what it would look like. Today's a new day now. Make space and I stretch out. All my scars are beautiful and my soul is as pure as gold. I'm letting out my hand now. Ain't no time left to stress out. Cause even if I stand alone, I know that I can be strong. A movable, powerful, wonderful, brave. Flawless and colorful, making new ways. I can do anything. This is my stage. This is my day to be. Just me. I'm gonna be a just me. Let the whole world see. said no <laughs> sorry but i gotta go <laughs> set goals i should live out <laughs> ceiling i can bust through now <laughs> better with me than against me <laughs> never hurt of an iron team <laughs> negativity won't break me <laughs> i'd rather choose me and be free <laughs> be free powerful wonderful brave flawless and colorful making new ways i can do anything this is my stage this is my day to be just me, I'm gonna be a just me. Let the whole world see. Just me, 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 me. Gonna be me, me, Just me. Go ahead, let your hair down. Just me, show up and be proud. Just me, chin up and chest out. Chin up and chest out. Just me, me, me. Alright, so we're off to a really nice start. The lace is nicely melted, but I did decide that I wanted effortless baby hair. So I wanted to try a new method of curling them. I've been seeing a lot of people do this on social media. I actually did it wrong. I believe you're supposed to curl upward and not downward, but I had to keep playing around with this method in order to master this technique. But overall, I feel like it worked out in the end. So these are the finished results just laying down the front. Yeah. Flake my, Flake my wrist, yeah. like I'm riding the bike, don't run, run, my dog, quick, I keep going like spaceship to the moon, I speak to the script, I've been trying to find a way to make a better way to get ahead.
The front turned out so well, but now it's time to lay down the back. Before we get into that process, I do want to show you guys a half up, half down style that you can do with this unit. And then I'm going to proceed to lay down the back. The front turned out so well. Now it's time to lay down the back. Now this is definitely recommended to do with a stylist or have somebody else to help you with this process. I will show you all a mirror that I remember that I had after actually laying it down that would have been helpful in the process, but it's really hard to see the back of your head in order to ensure that you're laying it down properly. So um, disregard if it's not perfect. I'm just showing you all what the process would look like if you were to lay it down. Also giving you an idea of what it would look like up in a ponytail but it could have been done better so don't judge me <laughs> don't think i don't notice when you run away i notice all of your friends might miss it don't want to get in your business all that you've been through it's all against you but you got what it takes don't care what people say don't look at me like that So as you all can see, it's not perfect, but I'm just trying to give you all an idea of what it would look like up in a ponytail. But be sure to go to your hairstylist or have a friend help you with the back. The front looks so natural and the back will also look the same way if you install it the right way. But let's face it, it's just really challenging doing it on your own. I will link the mirror that I showed you guys just now down below. I wish I had used that sooner, but it's definitely helpful. Also keep in mind, I mentioned earlier, wig glue is gonna be better. It won't slide at all, but I am gonna show you all what you can do in order to keep it down. If you desire to do a 360 wig and not have to actually use wig glue, which is to add a headband. And I'll show you all what that looks like in a moment. Fake, don't you be afraid if you make mistakes. I think that you need those. How you make a seed grow buried in the dirt. Rising from the earth, yeah, yeah. Just keep rising up, even when you fall up to the galaxy. We burning through the stars, and you get taken far, farther than you thought. So won't you give it all you got, yeah. Love yourself, break yourself a little harder. Be yourself, treat yourself, thank the God above. He made you so cool, you better like you. You better like you, cause you know how you
All right, y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also check the description box for all the links and specifications for this unit. I'll provide all the things that I mentioned in this video down below as well. I look forward to your comments and feedback. I hope that you all loved it as much as I did. Once again, have an amazing Easter. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.